Hey everyone, Tracy here coming to you today with my fourth month Braylock update. So I want to go ahead and get into it because I know how I get. This video can be forever and I don't want that. So I went on ahead and I jotted down some information that I wanted to make sure that I put inside of this video. Excuse me. Okay, so I've been interlocked since October the 15th, 2018. That's when I finally decided to say I'm doing this. And I've been doing it ever since, okay? Um, my last retightening or interlocking, however way we call that, I'm going to say it's been about a, week and, about a week and a half ago, okay? What I did, I put down in categories the good, the bad, and the ugly. So I'm going to go ahead and read from what the good is, the bad, and the ugly, and then try to go ahead and make the bad and the good, the bad and the ugly good and things that I'm doing to make the bad and the, thing, the bad and the ugly good. Okay. Okay. The good things is, okay. Noticing hair growth. I noticed at least about maybe an inch of hair growth so far. Okay. Number two is best um, decision I have made for my hair. Really, that should be number one. Okay. Um, haven't looked back yet. Four months going strong. Okay. Number three, I got some new interlocking tools. Number four, um, I tried the Dawn dishwashing liquid for the first time. That's another video, but it's, it's coming. Number five is not much hands in the head syndrome. You know how you just be... I still do that, but it's not as like it was, okay? I had a friend that be like, girl, you still got that in your head? You ain't took it down yet? Nope, still going strong. Okay, now here is the bad. Brace yourselves. Y'all sit down. You got your water, your tea, coffee, you know, what you need. But anyway, let me go ahead. It ain't that bad, y'all. Okay, but it's just some things I know. So let me go right here. Bad, number one. Snagging of hair. When you interlock it. If anybody's going through these things, feel free to, you know, if you that done, done, done solved the problem, feel free to, to put in the comments what you're doing. I would, it would be very much appreciated. Um, also, you know, let a sister know, okay? Number two, too much oils and uh, oils and other things that can start the hair to unravel. Number three, hair slippage. Number four, uh, I think I'm interlocking too soon, okay? That can also be put as the ugly as well, but ugly okay number one definitely snagging of the hair number two noticing short hairs standing all over the place okay and of course like i said interlocking too soon okay now i have listed the bad and the ugly the bad and the ugly now i'm getting ready to just sit and elaborate on what i can do to try to make those things better first thing i said was to definitely eliminate the like i said i interlock too soon I'm trying to figure out, you know, what's causing my hair to slip, at least around the edges here. I hope you guys can see. But as you can see, my edges are still there, but it's just all around here. After I wash my hair or sometimes use oils or something, it can get loose right there, which causes me to interlock. And then what happens is once I interlock that, then I notice how nice and neat it is. And I'm like, let me just do the rest of my head. Okay, so that's the problem. That's what I mean by the hands in the head syndrome. And I still got, the, you know, some, some rehabilitation to do. So that's one of them. Okay. So I, that's why I was saying, I think, you know, try to eliminate, you know, it's less time to wash my hair. That way I don't have to go through that. So I did eliminate that down to at least maybe twice out of a month, at least once or twice out of a month. By it's being wintertime and it's cold right now, I don't need to wash my hair often. So I eliminate that like that. Number two, I try to use less products that has oils in it of all kind. Eliminate it if possible. Only use the stuff if you really have to, like if you're dealing with the itchy scalp and stuff like that. But, you know, other than that, that's, you know, I'm trying to eliminate those products. All right. Um, but other than that, my products are still the same. Nothing, you know, really has changed. I just eliminate how much I use them. The snagging of the hair. Okay. I purchased some new tools. I got them from Lion Locks, which is a company that's on Amazon. Um, 
I will put a picture or something, you know, where you can see what they look like. I actually like the tools for the soft metal that they are and how easy they are to go in and out my hair. But then when it comes time for me to take the tool out my hair, it has like a little ring where you could maybe put it on a string or earring or something and maybe keep the tools on you or with you at all times, maybe a keychain or something. But I don't know if my hair is, if that's the cause, because I looked at that, I don't see anything that's open to where my hair can actually intertwine itself on in there, but somehow it is intertwining itself in there. Then once I go to take the tool out my hair, then I end up pulling my hair, which means now I took a, took a braid apart. I either have to rebraid it back. I have to braid it back up or something. Okay. So that's that. Um, I'm in search of new tools, you know, if anybody or, or new ideas, okay, new tools or new ideas on how this is happening and how I can stop it. Okay, hair repair, I've been using, like I said, I have to uh, either braid my hair back up, but I've also been using this crochet hook. And what I've been doing is like go into there and I just, you know, do it like that, back and forth and just, you know, try to put it back into that lock form because with a lot of the unraveling you know that happened so I did I did it with this one right here I don't know if you can see it all that good but I did with the two you know I just do that and it kind of like stopped that coming apart that unraveling stuff and like I said been using less products that cost that all right um so I call that the hair repair so that's what I've been doing with that slippage like I said, use less products, oil base or oils that will cause that. Um, and short hairs all over the place. Now, like I said, I don't know if it's new hair or if it's hair that's being broken off. I've been checking through my head and I do find that in different places. I don't know if it's even hairs that I call myself interlocking into my hair, thinking I'm interlocking something. And just because I'm not really using a mirror and really, you know, focused on the back, I'm going by what I feel. And I'm thinking that I'm getting everything and I'm not. So just like with this right here, now I can see this. Now I did this so many times, so I know either this is hair that's growing. See, and then as you can see, the part is still straight. So this piece of hair goes right here. Okay, so why isn't it in there? It's working its way out. I don't, I don't know what it could be. So if anybody else is going through that, you know, if you know what caused yours and how was you able to stop it, Post that in the comment section. I really like to know. All right. And that go for people with sister locks too, because sister locks is basically the same where you are interlocking. So, you know, any suggestions that you guys might have, please help a sister out. All right. Let me know what's going on. So one thing what I want to do with that is to get like a mirror where I can see exactly what I'm doing in the back of my head so I can make sure that, you know, whatever loose hair is out, that it be put in there. And if I, you know, if it's hair that's breaking off, you know, that it grows back and grows back, you know, where I can interlock it on back in there and it stays. So that's basically it. Now the mirror, I was thinking about getting it, it was this mirror that's a three-way mirror that a barber had made. And he made this mirror to, you know, to be able to cut his own hair. Now, he made one also for the female, but I'd rather have the one with the lights because no matter where I'm at, I can be able to really have that light shining right on my situation where I can definitely see what's going on in my head and know what I'm doing. You know, and then with it being a three-way, you could just look and be like, oh, okay, I need to put this here or I need to put that there. And you get it together, you know what I'm saying? So either I would get the one with the, the light. Yeah, so that's basically really is it you know guys as far as the update i just wanted to make sure that i put everything down on this in this video because that's basically all that i've really been dealing with so um other than that it's smooth sailing i can go ahead and hopefully show you guys a 360 you know what my hair look like can you guys tell as if it's growing but i'll just go ahead and maybe do like a 360 I even think my grid is staying pretty much together. If you could see good, you could probably see like the little loose hairs going on up in there. But yeah, and then I deal with the the slippage all around like the edges, all around the edges. But 
other than that, it just seemed like to me everything is, you know, it's pretty much together. But like I said, I still love it. We all go through our little problems and, and, and situations, but that's the thing. We're here to help one another. And if you know it's something that I'm doing, maybe I didn't pretty much then put it out there what I'm doing. Okay. And like I said, I got a clear, I, I really do feel that too much of the interlocking could have something to do with that as well. So, you know, it's like all of a sudden I just got to uh, be able to keep these intact and leave these alone. Like when I wash my hair, I'll just go ahead and interlock these back up because I feel that they'll come apart if I don't, you know, and I'm like, oh my God, my hair about to come out. But let me see if I can show you right quick. See this? But the edges are still there, but it's these little ones right here. So I don't know if anybody else, this one. So if anybody else is going through this, you know, what is you doing? Or is you doing the same thing I'm doing? Just having it interlocked back up and just go head on. Because, I mean, it's, I haven't found nothing else. I really haven't. But I hope you guys can see it. I do apologize for the light, but we are having a pretty much of a gloomy day today. It's raining outside. It was snowing the other day. Now, you know, it's it's raining. So, yeah, it's one of them days. So, yeah. So, this is it. But like I said, I still am pleased and I'm proud and I'm glad that I decided to do this to my hair because it, it do look like my hair is flourishing from it. And it just makes life so much easier. I was thinking I could do is just get up and go. That's it. Do this. Put on my earrings and, you know, all that and just go about my way. <laughs> this is it for this video. If there's any questions, comments, please post those comments. If you can help a sister out in the comment section, I will get back to you with it. And, um, yeah, so with that being said, um, I'd like to thank y'all so very much for watching. And if you this is your first video you're watching of mine, thanks so much for tuning in. And if you like what you see and want to see more, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell so that way you'll be able to be notified when I upload any video. I don't care what it is. It can be a cooking video. Sometimes I might do some cooking videos on this channel. I might, you know, I'm trying to do, you know, mix up a little flavor here. Get some things going, okay? So, all right. So, with that being said, thanks so much for watching. Wish you all a blessed, wonderful day. So, until the next, bye.